God bless you. This is A.B. Harrison, a voice of a trumpet declaring the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray you are doing well this morning. You know, the Spirit of the Lord has been speaking to me, and I think I really have to take the time to share what the Lord is saying. You know, in the book of Daniel, the Bible says that he sets up leaders and he takes them another, and the heavens rule in the kingdom of men. And earlier this year, I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus who visited me. You know, and he warned me about um, four major things. I remember him saying that, um, you know, he's coming and a lot of people are not prepared. And he was saying, you know, it's time for people to get their houses in order. And one of the stuff that he was saying, apart from people getting their house in order, was that um, in this time, we have to be very careful who we listen to. And I know he was speaking to the media, a lot of stuff that would be coming out of the media. And he said that this election is going to be chaotic. It's going to be a chaotic election. You know, and I've been praying because the Lord has given me a mandate of mercy, cry. I've been praying for different states in America because I see a darkness coming. I see a darkness coming. And you know, the Lord was speaking to me and I remember the time of biblical Israel where the prophets were eating at the table of Jezebel. The prophets were eating at the table of Jezebel and because they allowed Jezebel to take over the kingdom of Israel with her wicked husband Ahab, many true prophets were killed, were hunted and killed and, and they suffered. And you know, this election is, go is going to be a critical one, not only for America, but for the rest of the world. You see, if, if, if the country falls in the hand of the wrong people, if the country falls in the hands of Jezebel, there is an agenda. Jezebel is pushing an agenda. Jezebel is not for the people, but Jezebel is for her people and for her agenda. And as believers and as Christians, we really have to seek God in this season. We have to be discerning in this season. You know, a lot of Christians believe that it's not their duty to be involved in politics and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, you have to get involved because the outcome of this election is gonna determine a lot of things. You know, and my encouragement is I can't tell you what to vote for, but make sure your vote aligns with the fear and the will of God. You know, there is something bigger than what we can see. You know, there is not much I, I'm going to say about this, but there is something bigger than what we can see. You know, Jezebel in this season has come in the form of a, a, someone who has been puppeted. You know, we see Jezebel was in power for a while and in the power and the place that Jezebel was she wasn't even doing much you don't really hear anything from Jezebel and now this time Jezebel want to come and ascend but I don't only see Jezebel I see the spirit of Ataliah that is the daughter of Jezebel who murdered the 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 king royal the children of the king and took the kingdom and Jezebel is going to come with a murderous spirit assassinating characters assassinating different things jezebel is going to try everything to take the throne and jezebel is going to be backed heavily and in this season i want you guys to pray and discern and i want you guys to really pray and discern and allow god to lead you you see many people don't realize but it was never god will for saul to be king of israel Israel rejected God's will. God is king of Israel. And God is always going to be king of Israel. Israel rejected God's will. And Saul took the throne. And he gave them a king in their anger. And took him out in their wrath. What America went through for the past four years. There's so many things that happened spiritually. And in this time, God is speaking to the church. And God is saying, it is time that you choose my will. God is saying, it is time that you choose my will. We cannot be deceived by by gender and skin color we cannot be deceived by these things and say oh i'm gonna give this person my allegiance because you know they're they're a female i'm gonna give this person my allegiance um because they're black and they represent black people we cannot be fooled i'm telling you and i want you guys to think about this whoever <laughs> the direction 
you you give or the, or the support you give in this season is going to determine the outcome not only of the next four years but of the next 40 years if the Lord shall tarry now hear what I'm saying by the Spirit of God seek the face of God in this season be discerning in this season because if America falls in the wrong hands then things are going to be sped up I, you know I had a vision and I saw like there was this lunar eclipse. I think it was a lunar eclipse. And when I saw the eclipse, many parts of the earth were shaking. And while the earth shook, the heavens opened and I saw different spiritual beings coming out of this portal. And I realized in that moment, people that were caught in sin were judged, were being judged immediately. And remember the scripture that the Bible said, two in the field and one taken, one in the bed and one taken and people think that scripture is about rapture but that scripture is not about rapture because in the end of the scripture um a question was asked and he said where the the the, the, the carcasses there will the vultures gather they will the eagle gather where the carcasses carcass represent death so those people were judged by death taken out by death you know and this is a time where we have to really intercede and pray that the hands of god is turned is turned our world is not the same i'm telling you our world is not the same again and it is time that the righteous arise it is time for the righteous to take their place we are ambassadors of christ we are of a kingdom of greater authority and power we need to align with the will of god in this season and not with our personal preference and not with our emotional um, connections Align with the will of God in this season. This election is going to determine things in this world that's going to shock many of us. It's going to shock many of us. It's time to wake up. It's time to choose the will of God. And it's time to choose the fear of God. A person who fear God doesn't kill children. A person who fear God does not kill children. A person who fear God does not change the laws of marriage. A person who fear God exalts the name of Jesus, even when they don't understand the, the, the right Christian um, genres or whatever you want to call it. But they fear God enough to acknowledge him and surrender themselves to him. God bless you. Seek God in this season. Seek God and beg Him for discernment.